Hello from Seoul. There are so many stir fry dishes all around the world, but I'm gonna take one of your favorite and combine it with some noodles. Yes, this recipe is gonna be legendary. Today, we're gonna be making beef noodle stir-fry, but it's not just any stir-fry noodle dish. We're gonna combine it with everybody's favorite, Mongolian beef. Super tender beef, nice and chewy noodles, and a beautiful sauce that's full of umami. Seriously, is there anybody who wouldn't love this dish? I don't think so. For this, you want need some beef, onion, green onions, garlic, ginger, and noodles. They're pretty simple ingredients that you might have in your fridge, right? For information, for noodles, I'm gonna be using udon noodles today. But any kind of noodles works great in this recipe. So just use what you have. Everything will be fantastic. Alright, let's prep our beef first. Chinese takeout restaurants normally use flank steak for their beef stir fry, but that's not an absolute rule or something. So I'm gonna be using chalk flap tail that's been sitting in my fridge. If you use a better cut, obviously, they'll be more tender and more juicy. So if you have some beef already in your fridge, instead of going to a supermarket for a specific cut, just use what you have. That's the best. Anyways, cut 300 grams of beef into nice bite-sized pieces, but make sure to cut against the grain and slice it on an angle. If you're using a cheap cut of beef, this is very important because if you don't do it, you'll probably see everybody at the table chewing rubber like a cow. Of course, the marinade that we're gonna make later on is gonna help tenderize our meat. But if you add this little technique when prepping your meat, you can completely prevent that disaster. So please make sure to cut against the grain. What? You wanna know this kind of tip more and more? I'm so glad you brought that up. Because everything you need is in this one book. Trust me, with this one book, you can cook more than 100 Korean dishes like a pro. So don't forget to check it out. The link is in the description. Now let's marinate our beef. Put half a tablespoon of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of Shaoxing wine, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of neutral oil, and give it a good massage. What? You still worry that your beef is gonna be too tough? Then add a little bit more baking soda. Trust me, it's gonna break down the meat fibers and make it really tender. Alright, while they are having a great vacation in the fridge, let's prep our vegetables. First, take one large onion and cut it into thick slices. When you think of a typical Mongolian beef, you probably think of a dish without this bad boy. But today, we're gonna add a little bit of charred flavor using this onion. Don't worry about it, you're gonna love it more. Next, green onions. Thinly slice some white parts for a beautiful aromatic oil and cut some green parts into long strips. If you want to make them look more fancy, you can cut diagonally. No problem at all. Once that's done, smash 3 cloves of garlic and finely chop them. And then grate a small knob of ginger. We're gonna use about 2 teaspoons. Alright, the veg prep is done. Let's make the sauce. In a small container, add a quarter cup of water, one teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder, three tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, half a teaspoon of dark soy sauce, two tablespoons of shouting wine or other cooking wine, some black pepper, one tablespoon of cornstarch, and give it a good mix. That's it! So simple, right? For information, we have all the instructions and a list of ingredients on our blog, aaronandclair.com. So please visit here if you need a written recipe. Alright, fill your pot with some water and bring it to a boil. Once it starts to boil, add in your noodles and cook according to the package instructions. Since this is a stir-fried noodle dish, I highly recommend cooking your noodles first so that all your ingredients are prepped up and ready to go. What? You're worried about your noodles sticking together? Don't worry about it. You can just drain the noodles and coat them with some oil. If you do it this way, they're not gonna stick together, so it's gonna be a lot easier to cook them in a pan. 
All right, get yourself a wok or pan. Add one tablespoon of oil and heat it over high heat. Once it gets nice and hot, add the marinated beef, spread it out, and let it sear for about one minute or until nicely browned on the bottom. Browning your beef will create a nice crust on the outside and give you a lot more flavor. So make sure your pan is really hot. Otherwise, instead of getting a nice crust on the outside, it's just gonna create steam. Once the beef is nicely browned on the bottom, flip and cook the other side for about a minute or two. It doesn't have to be cooked through because we're gonna stir fry one more time with our beautiful aromatics. Alright, let's remove it from the wok and set it aside. Now in the same wok, add 1 tablespoon of oil and heat it over high heat. Once it's heated, strain your onions, spread them out, and let them sit for about 1-2 to two minutes just like we did with the beef. This is gonna get them nice and charred and you will eventually get that nice smoky burnt flavor that you're looking for. And if you wanna add a little bit of a kick to this, then add 3 or 4 dried chilies or pepperoncino. Since my hungry bird at home loves a spicy kick, I'm gonna go ahead and add some now. But don't worry about it, this is totally optional. Now let's add the white parts of the green onions, garlic, ginger, and saute those for about 1 minute. Make sure you give it a good stir and let all the flavors infuse. It's gonna coat our beef and noodles and that will make a huge difference in taste. Once your kitchen is filled with the aroma, add in your beef and noodles and stir fry them for about 1 minute. When the beef and noodles look nice and shiny and they are wearing the greatest perfume of all time, pour in the sauce and toast them together for about 2 minutes. That's it! Couldn't be any easier! You can't say it's too complicated, right? When the beef and noodles are perfectly coated with the sauce, turn the heat off. And then add the rest of the green onions, 1 teaspoon of toasted sesame oil and give it a final mix. To get that iconic look of Mongolian beef, the green onions have to be cooked with the residual heat like this. If you put them into Ali, you're not gonna get a freshness. You're gonna make green onions that look super exhausted. Just like me on a Friday night. You don't wanna see that, right? Alright, before they get too mushy, let's put some noodles on a serving plate. And for a prettier presentation, let's put some green onions and chilies on top of the noodles. How does it look? It looks awesome, right? Alright, let's cut our taste tester. Wow! <laughs> I will save my words. Let's try. Cheers! I will save my That's my strategy. First of all, I absolutely love this Chinese style marinade. Especially the beef is this much big, but it absolutely melts in my mouth. It is super tender, super juicy. It's unbelievable. 너무 맛있어. 거의 다 우동 면은 진짜 설명이 필요 없어. It's very chewy and bouncy, so I feel like I'm eating a very long rice cake. 근데 이 우동 면이 진짜 이 맛있는 소스를 진짜 잔뜩 흡수해가지고 너무 맛있어. 거기다가 그 소스에서 약간 그 샤오싱 와인 향이 살짝 너무 과하지도 않고 살짝 나는 게 그게 뭔가 되게 고급진 느낌을 주는 것 같아. 와 진짜 너무 너무 맛있다. 밖에서 몽골리안 비프 사 먹으면 되게 맛있긴 한데 나한테는 살짝 그게 좀 달거든. 그런데 이거는 그 단맛보다는 확실히 조금 더 짭조름한 맛이 더 살, 살아있는 그런 소스인 것 같아서 그게 마음에 드네. 단맛이 전혀 없는 건 아닌데 그 자연스러운 양파에서 나오는 그런 자연스러운 단맛인 것 같아. 음. 너무 맛있어서 <웃음> 몇입안 먹고 한 입밖에 안 먹었는데 정신없이 그냥 얘기한 것 같다. 이제는 좀 즐겨봅시다. I think I have to dig in more. Hope you guys try to. I'm sure you're gonna love it. Enjoy! Today, I made a stir-fried noodle dish with Mongolian beef. 
How was it? Unbelievably simple and easy, right? From now on, you don't have to spend your hard-earned money at a takeout restaurant because there's no reason not to try this at home. So go grab your apron and try it. I'm sure you will absolutely love it. Alright, this is it for today and I'll see you next time.